hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what part of the world you are in. What I want to experiment with today is on the islands map. I want to see if we can double our I want to see if I can if we can double our our dynamic piles and get some more uh, product on the ground out of each mine. And I don't know if it's going to work until we actually up until we actually try it. So I'm going to I'm going to duplicate this. Call it O2. So I made a backup of uh, so those I don't need. Those I don't need. I only want the dynamic heaps and the triggers. And I don't know if I can use all of them, but let's see what we've got. Uh, so this is coal mine two. We've got to put it in front of coal mine one. And I want to essentially see if we can double our output. Uh, so it's going to add one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's going to add eight more spawn locations. <coughs> and then we have to see if it's going to work with an existing save game. So what does my 110 look like? Uh, let's find the coal crusher. And we're going to need... We are going to need another production line. And we're going to have to see if it will work with an existing game save. If not, I'll put my backup map back in and we'll scrap it. But there's only one way to find out. I'm going to take... Well, let's come back to this in a second. Let's look at our XML. So if we're going to put... We're only allowed 25 outputs per factory, so we're right now we're using 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We're using 12. We're going to add 8 more. That will work. So let's copy output coal 8. through output coal and let's double this one and so we ended up so this is going to be coal 9 10 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Um, so this is going to be... Uh, 
nine. This one is 10, 10, 10, Guess I need to ch ch update the last one too, don't I? It's 12, so you are 9, 10, 11, so you are 13, So that doubles our call spawners. Now we have to take production line two. And we're going to duplicate it and put it under production line four. Four and call it production line five. Uh, so this one becomes nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15 and 16. Uh, we're going to give it gold and we're going to give it more clean fill. Uh, so we have to add, we have to take production line 2, we have to duplicate it, put it here and call it production line 4. Now we have to go down here and we have to double. Uh, so there's one. We're going to have to essentially double all of these. Right, we had we have nine through sixteen. Yeah, we have nine through sixteen. Uh, yep. Yeah, so we have to double all of these. So this will be nine.
one of these has to be read numbered so you are going to be 27 and 1 uh, so you are the trigger yes yeah, so you are 27 and 1 So you were the trigger, right? Yeah, you were the trigger. Yeah, so you were 27 and 1. Our start is going to be 27 and 2. 27 and 2. and 2. This one becomes 27 and 3. just continue 27 wait, wait why is that backwards no that's not right all right so let's go back up here now I am definitely backwards so this was 27 and 1 I am supposed to go above it not below it. so this is 27 and 0 I knew something was wrong so you're 27 and 0. This one is 27 and 3. Uh, so you're 27 and 2. So that looks better. So that makes you 27 and 3. We already have a 27 and 3. Oh, this one. Alright, 27 and 5. Seven and seven. And then you're going to be twenty seven and six. Seven and eleven. <coughs> so 
are going to be 27 and 10. and 13 that makes you 27 and 12 27 and 15. And 27 and 14. So you should be 27, 14, and 2. Yep. All right, so let's save this. All right, so we doubled our coal spawners. We doubled our coal spawners in the XML. We added production line five. So we have nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. We'll get a little bit more gold and we'll get more clo uh, clean fill. There's no operating parts for this one. All right, so that is production line five. And we doubled our I3D mapping. So essentially, uh, in theory, In theory, this should work. So let's save this. And if it works for the coal mine in an existing save, then we can double all the mines. See one. Good afternoon. All right. So essentially, what I'm going to try to do is double our coal piles, and if it works on this one, then it'll work on all of them. So let's minimize that. Let's go to our islands map and uh, to cache files. I can delete. Let's zip this up. I'm 
experimenting to see if we can get <coughs> double the crushed product out of each mine but still have it work with an existing save game. Let's grab uh, this folder. Uh, let's copy it. Let's go to my test folder. I'm going to overwrite my existing save game. And let's go into the test map. And let's see if I can get it working. Let's see if it works with an existing save. And see if we get any Lua errors. Save game three is my test map. I don't think I have any new mods. No, so let's crank this up. It's going to take a little bit longer to load because I am overwriting an existing save. So let's go in here. Uh, Alright, we're on one speed. Let us come over to coal processing. And first thing I'm going to do before I even walk over there. I'm going to see if there's any errors in the log that pertain to the coal crusher. Just make sure we have errors and then we'll see if it works or not. No errors in the log for the coal crusher. That's the first good sign. Let's see if we have uh, why are you dis okay, you're disabled because you are full. Uh, this line is not on. Oh, it's out of coal rock. Okay. So let us throw some coal rock in here. Uh, let me get a little bit of speed. And let's get some coal rock in there and see if we can fi if this will fire up with an existing save. And if it works on this one, then we'll go in and we'll double up the rest of the mines.
I'm going to grab one more load because I want to really crank this up and see if it'll produce. Because now it's going to go through um, the boulders twice as fast because we're essentially doubling our output. So let's, and I want to put some invisible collisions on there. So now, when this cranks back up, uh, why are you off? Oh, there we go. should start to spawn yeah so we're going to spawn some more on the ground until it runs out of coal So it will work with an existing save. Now I'm almost out of coal rock because these were the old 2,000 liter boulders. These were not the updated 10,000 liter boulders because I haven't ran this map since the update. So that will work. We can double our output. Okay, so let's Let's save this. Uh, yep, let's quit. Farm Chick 63, hello. Let's get out of here. Let me make sure no other errors popped up in the log. Fantastic. So that will work with an existing save. Now, since we doubled our spawners, we're going to go through the coal twice as fast. Uh, so now, uh, let's look at our boulders. Unfortunately, we're going to have to turn every one of them visible and then turn every one of them invisible again. I want to see if we can get more spawners as well so we can get more boulders spawning. get them all visible and then we'll get some more spawners put in. I can't move the existing ones because that'll definitely mess with the save, but we can add more. And 
and then once we double uh, once we get more of these in here then we can definitely run this a full we should be able to run this a full 24 hours without it shutting down um, so I'm just going to count these so there's one three four five uh, six Seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Seventeen and eighteen. So there's eighteen more spawners. All right. So now we have to go back in here, and we have to add eighteen more spawners. So they're one through twenty. Gold is number twenty-one. Alright, so gold is number 21, so we, we need to add 18 more. Uh, so let's go here. And paste them in. So this becomes 22. Seven, So we have 39, so you are now 390,000. 
uh, no, 38, 380,000. I forgot there's a skip number in there. So you are 380,000. Because there are 10,000 liters per boulder. There are 38. So now we have to double. Now we have to double these guys. And we'll put them down here. And then we have to double. That was our interaction trigger. I have to double this one. And it goes um, here. But we only needed 18. And we needed 18. So this one becomes 22. That's what we had up top, right? 39. Yep, 39. So you are now 22. 24. 25. So now we have to fix our pathing. So, oh crap, you were, uh, where's our, so 39, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23. You should be our t number 22. Uh, 20, 20, 1, 20, and 0. So 20. So where did we end up with? We ended up with 20. Yeah, so we, our last one was 19, so yep, so we're going to pick up with 20. And you're going to be uh, 21, 22, 23, 24, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 35, 36, and 37. So this last one should be 21, 37, and 0. And it is 21, 37, and 0. So that's right. 
or correct I should say. So you are now 20, 21, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 34, 35, 36, and 37. So this one should be 20, 1, 37, and 1. Crap, no, we missed one. Oh no, there we didn't. So this one should be 20, 1, 37, and 1. 21, so this is correct. Alright, so let's save you. Uh, now we get to make all of these invisible again. This should essentially double our boulders and double our piles on the ground. And then if this one works, we get to do this four more times. Every time we do it, it should get a little bit easier and a little bit quicker. saving I want to come to our mod description and then this update is going to be v 1.2 let's wait for this to save and we'll go back in game bring this folder back. Uh, let's go to our 16x, our islands map. Let's delete this. Let's re-zip it up. I'll put it back in my test folder and we'll go back in and play with the coal mine. folder All right, so let's go back into the test map 
overwrite our existing save and see if we can get double the boulders and double the piles with an existing save. Where do you pick up glue at the glue factory? Um, I can show you because we're going into the test game, into my test map. Um, Gamer77256, hello, welcome. 1018, good afternoon, welcome. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, we'll head over to the glue factory first, then we'll go back over and play with the coal mine. after I check the log for errors. I want to check the log for errors first as soon as we go in. So what I'm essentially trying to do is double the output on the mining. And it's going to use half as much diesel because I turned the diesel way down. And you're going to get 50% more clean fill well, double that now. You're going to get a pretty much like 125% more clean fill now. Uh, so, sorry guys. First thing I want to do is I want to check the log for errors. Uh, to make sure I didn't mess anything up with doubling all the spawners. And there's no errors in the log with the coal factory. Alright, so the glue factory first. Uh, this should be over here. Glue is a liquid. There's no pallets. And you should be able to pick up uh, the glue. Where is the... Uh, get a little bit more speed. Right here. Uh, right here uh, in front of the uh, this side of the building you should be able to pick up your glue right here where you pick up your sewage. So right there is the hitbox right, right in this spot where I'm standing. You should be able to pick up your glue and your sewage right here. I don't think I have any made or I'd bring a truck over. Uh, oh, we do have glue. Alright, hold on. Let's grab my store delivery mod. This is my test map, so let's grab uh, Unimog. And I think this tanker holds glue. Hmm, maybe this one doesn't hold glue. Uh, we'll find out. If not, we'll rent the other tanker and see if it picks up glue. Sewage. No, this one only takes sewage. I don't think this truck held glue. Uh, let's lease. Do uh, you hold glue? Hmm. Yeah, I think this one holds glue. Let's grab... Uh, can I use the Unimog? Does it have a five-point hitch on it? Or a fifth wheel? Oh crap, we're on 120 speed. I forgot to slow the speed down. That's right, we'll get through the night. Uh, let's just 
go down for one now and then we'll sleep tonight. Yep, so let's yep, you go pick up your glue here. Uh, so the Unimog does not hold glue, but you can pick up your glue right here. Uh, so let's head over to the mines. Yep, here we are. So let's head back over here to the coal mine. What I want to do is I want to get these um, spawners empty, so there shouldn't be any uh, coal rock in here. So I want to, before we forward the night, I want to get these spawners emptied. This guy, I want to grab this guy, I want to grab this guy. So next update we'll have to uh, fix the Unimog so he'll pick up uh, glue. symbol is not on any of the tankers. Um, right now it's only working with the big tanker though like I showed you. The other ones will have to get fixed. A glue was a last minute change. It was in a pallet and we were having problems with the pallet so I eliminated the pallet from the map completely and made it liquid. It was a last minute change like the day before we released the map. Uh, and we probably overlooked putting glue in most of the tankers. Because it, it did not work in the Unimog, but it did work in the other tanker. So next update I'll get with Papa Smurf and we'll try and get the vehicles updated. I want to focus on this coal mine for now to make sure we are going to spawn all of our boulders and all the dynamic piles work. I forgot to put the invisible barrier in. So next time we go in the editor we'll put the invisible barrier in. So now let's grab these new piles and then we'll spawn out some more boulders. I want to make sure I have enough diesel in the tank. We were having a problem with the pallet. It was throwing an error we couldn't get rid of. So we scrapped the glue pallet last minute.
and that's why I got rid of the metal drum at Mammoth Mill uh, and turned it into a wooden barrel because we were having issues with it. Alright, so let's turn you off. Get you out of the spawner. I'll throw you here for now. Let's see how much diesel we have in here. So we've got plenty of diesel. So now let's... Uh, let me go back to... Let's get the boulders off the hill. And then we'll crank up time to make sure we're going to get all of our boulders now. And this is an existing save. So if we could double our mining with an existing save, that would be awesome. So I'm going to get these out of here and then we'll crank up time. What I'll probably do is just top the diesel off just to be sure that we're good. And I'm going to leave this one boulder up here to see what happens. So I'm not going to dump these in yet because I don't want them in the pit. Uh, first experiment is going to be to see if our boulders spawn. Uh, so let us let's come over here and just dump these off for now. dump you off for now. Let me grab a tanker because uh, I want to top off the diesel before we get started. So yeah, use this tanker for now for the glue until we can get the other ones fixed. So let's grab this tanker and top off the diesel. We got plenty of water. on if I can back in straight. Right, so let's throw some diesel in here. If I'm going to test this, I want it full. I don't want to run out of diesel halfway through. Pop you off, leave you here. Let's grab this truck. And then let's watch from the top and see what happens. but I want to stay back far enough where we're not going to affect any of the boulder spawners. So let's park it about here. And let's go back to 120 speed for now. I don't want to go too fast and let's just run this. Oh, what the heck. It's 2000. Let's go overnight and see what happens. Take it down to one speed. Let's see what it says on our global company menu. All right, so coal rock. Yep, we're only at 37%. So that was about eight hours. Uh, let's go down here and watch the coal rock. Our so our coal, I mean, yeah, our coal rock. 
Uh, let's go back. Uh, so let's take our time back up uh, to 2000. This is close to where we started, so we can run a complete day without picking up our boulders now. Uh, so let's go back to daylight. it's going to rain but see, now our coal, coal rock is full so we can definitely go 24 hours now without having to pick up our boulders and now we have double the amount of boulders As Dixie will say, we've got double the meatballs. Now let's throw them in here and see what happens to our piles on the ground. And I am going to put an invisible barrier there so the boulders don't get stuck in that yellow thing. Uh, let's go get another load. Grab another load. Yeah, it's going to be nice not to have to empty this more than once a day now. We may have to increase the capacity that the uh, bolt, the amount of boulders it will hold, so when we get out of game we're going to have to look at that capacity. Let's see how many we can fit in here without telling me it's full. that put us on capacity. At 48%. So yeah, we're going to have to double our capacity on our the amount of boulders we could put into it. Uh, I want to grab I want to get these out of here because I want to experiment with a invisible uh, collision here so the boulders don't go in there and in the guardhouse. Oh, come on. Oh, do I not have strength? I thought I still had strength on it. You're not going to come out of there. 
you're not going to come out of there. I know you're in there. There we go. So now let's come up back over here and we should now have 2,000 speed. We should now have double the amount of piles on the ground. And yep, so now we have double the amount of piles on the ground. We have double the boulders. Uh, and our boulders are at went down 60%. So yeah, this is going to work out much better. You're still going to have to pick these piles up um, at least once a day, if not twice a day, but you don't, you're not going to have to come in here like every two hours now and empty them. Uh, so let's save this. get out of game yeah we're gonna double all of the uh, mining uh, my ex I just wanted to experiment with coal to see if it would work with an existing save and again I just want to go through the log first to make sure I have no other errors with the mining Oh, cool. So no other um, errors with the mining product. So that essentially doubled our um, our output on our mines. Uh, one thing we had to do is we had to double our, let's go back to the coal crusher, our capacity for coal, <coughs> our input for our coal rock. Um, let's take this from 500,000 liters to a million liters. And that should take care of that. Now I want to see if we can get, uh, slow down my speed, I want to see if we can get some kind of an invisible barrier or plane in here. So let's go create um, create a plane. Um, I want to uh, let's minimize that. I want to cut it from there, put it in the coal crusher. Uh, let's put you there. Let us turn you to minus 90. Uh, let's make you bigger. you down and back and let's make you taller uh, about here about here uh, let's put a rigid body on you. You are static. 
and then let's make you invisible. Alright, so let's save this. Uh, didn't know what you said about picking up the glue. You have to use the, uh, I'll show you what tanker you have to use when we go back in game to pick up the glue. Let this save. All right, so let's minimize you. Let me, let's go back to the islands map that's unzipped. Uh, let's delete that again. Let's zip it back up. And we'll go back into the test map to see if that invisible barrier works. Gamer77256, you're still out there and you need me to give you an update on the glue. So let's grab this, uh, let's copy it, let's put it back in my test map, overwrite the save, and let's go back in and play with that, um, let's see if that invisible barrier works and it's not going to throw any errors. Alright, gamer, yeah, let me get back in game. Uh, back into my test map. Sassy one, all right, thanks. All right, so let's go back in here. I'll come over to the glue factory first. All right, the Unimog with, uh, let me get a little bit of speed. All right, the Unimog with this tank, this tank um, does not hold glue. We'll have to go in and update that. But if you purchase this tanker um, in the part of the vehicle pack, uh, this tanker here um, will hold glue. So just park it right here. Um, and then you can pick up your glue right here. It's liquid in the tanker. Alright, so let's head back to the coal mine. Uh, let's grab our flatbed. Uh, 
and we'll see if, if we can uh, if our invisible barrier works. Backed in there straight. Here, turn the camera around. And now, oh, that my invisible barrier did not work. Why? Why? these are pallets. Uh, is my invisible barrier even there? It is. So why did you not work? You're there, you have a rigid body. I don't know. I am lost. That should have worked. I'm thinking because these are pallets and these do not have a rigid body so they're not going to bounce off of that other one. They're going to go right through it. And I cannot put a rigid body on the boulders. I don't know. I'll have to come up with another idea on how to stop them from going through that barrier. Uh, capa capacity is 200,000. Capacity is 200,000 on what? Why did that invisible barrier not work? Um, so let's, let's make it visible. It has a rigid body. It has a collision. Mm, I'm not sure because this has... Okay, that has no rigid body. So let's get rid of this plane. Uh, let's take this guy and do you... Okay, so you have no rigid body. So let's put a rigid body on you and see if that helps. Oh, it does have a collision on it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure why they're, they're going through there. Glue in the glue factory? Uh, let's find out. Uh, let's go to mods. Uh, placeables. Glue factory. Glue factory. I probably forgot to raise it when we eliminated glue and make it, uh, we eliminated the pallets. It hold, you are correct. So let's go uh, 2 million. So 
so that'll be for the next update and then some time off camera I'll play around with some kind of an invisible barrier to see if we can stop the rocks from um, flying up there but that's our coal all right so that is the coal let's go to the ore crusher and which way is the ore? I don't know. Lost on my own map. Ore is this way. So let's replicate that whole mess with the ore. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is take this guy uh... duplicate him and get rid of all the crap we don't need uh... because i only want the spawners uh... get rid of this get rid of those get rid of those and then take this and move it up about there uh, and go a little bit further Let's call this coal mine to even though it's an ore mine uh, let's pull you up a little bit further oh, you're going to be in that trigger see how you look about there that'll work and it's and it's not touching the other trigger all right so that'll work so that's the first thing we need to do second thing we need to do is we need to add 18 more spawners um, so again I'm gonna have to turn them all visible we'll add 18 more and then we'll make them all invisible uh, good catch on that glue I didn't even think about increasing the volume uh, when we took this when we took the pallets out and made it bulk liquid. Uh. All right, so that is those. So now that we know where they're at, let's put in 18 more. Do we have room? Yeah, so let's go one, two, three. four five six seven let's go eight Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twen
twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Seventeen and eighteen. Now that we know where they're all at, they're not on top of each other. Let's we gotta make them all invisible again. Save that. Now let's bring up our ore mine. Ore crusher. Ore crusher. So let's take our input of ore rock and double that. We have to take our ore rock spawners, and I can steal the coal ones now, since we already have the work done. Let's copy those, put them here. Uh, we can come down here. I can steal these. and put them here. We have to take production line two, well, before we do that, we have to take our ore through ore eight uh, copy it, come below sewage, paste it in there, and these we're going to have to renumber by hand. So this is 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, This one becomes ten.
12. Last year, 12. Year, 13. have to take production line 2, uh, copy it, put it under number 4, uh, it becomes production line 5, and you are 9, 10, 11. 13, 14, 15, and 16. And then this one had no operating parts. So it can go uh, save you our ore maw, our ore crusher. I had to take production line 2 and put it down here and it is production line 5. So let's save that. Now let's double check our i3D pathing to make sure that's going to be the same. So our spawners uh, 22 through 39. Uh, this one should be 21, 37, 21, 37, and 1. So they're the same. We don't have to change anything there. We also have to take our heaps from the coal mine uh, 9 through 16 and bring them over to the ore mine. Why does this one have 10? Why does this one have a 9 and a 10? Uh, why do you have a 9 and a 10? Good question. Coal mine one, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you should only have eight. You don't have a nine and a ten. Alright, so let's let me do this for now. So they don't load into the game.
wrong spot. Uh, here. So I don't want that 9 and 10 to load. I want this 9 through 8, 9 through 16 to load. And what are their numbers? So coal mine 2, uh, these are 25 instead of 27. Should be twenty five, fourteen, and two. Twenty five, fourteen, and two. You are. Uh, so that fixes that should fix everything. We should be able to test this. So coal mine one only had one, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight. Yeah. So there's there's only sixteen. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So there's not. I don't know where that extra nine and ten came from. Because you should be. You should be 15, 22, and 2. So yeah, that's my last one. Um, so let's save this again, and let's see if our ore mine's going to work without any errors in the log. Wise big boy, um, hello. I am working on a update to <laughs> the mining on the islands map to essentially double the production um, so we can run it'll now run like 30 uh, almost like 30 hours um, with the boulders before you have to put them back in to be crushed and I doubled, we're doubling the piles on the ground where the ore spawns and the coal spawns, the gravel spawns, and then the nickel and copper. <laughs> and I am sorry guys I need to step away for a second so I'm going to just throw the be back screen right back on and I'll be back in a second give me about three or four minutes
I sorry about that. I had to take my laundry and shuffle it over from the washer to the dryer so somebody else can use the washer. Alright, so let's go back to the islands map. Uh, let's delete that. And zip it back up. And then we'll go in and see if the changes to the ore mine work on the existing save <coughs> without throwing any errors. Copy this, throw it in my test folder, overwrite the existing save, and now let's go back into my test map and look at the ore. Go into my existing save. Let this load. Uh, and then I guess the first thing I'm going to do is check the log. Uh, make sure we have no Lua errors before we start testing. Make sure I didn't mess anything up in my numbering. And no errors for the ore crusher. So let me get a little bit of speed. Uh, let's head over to the ore processing. Or the ore mine. Alright, so we are at the ore mine. We should now have this entire line and this entire line we do. We are all right, we're out of ore rock, so let us we have nothing on the ground good, so we don't have to empty that. Let's grab uh let me grab this guy and let's head over here and now we can make sure our ore is going to double And these are going to be all the old boulders that are all 2,000 liters because I haven't been in this map since the, uh, the update this weekend. So I want to get all of these out of here. And then we'll... I think I don't even have to get them out of here. I want to leave them here. I want to run this and make sure... Um, 
they, the rest of them spawn out. That'll be another good test. Make sure it works within existing save. Uh, let's just drop them off to cliff. No, don't fall off the cliff. <laughs> Alright, you should have enough diesel in you to run and fill up my boulders. Uh, 58,000 liters, that should be alright. Uh, head back to this truck. And let's go, let's grab some speed, and we'll just forward to the morning. Like I said, this is my test map, so I don't care about money and vehicles. Go down to one speed, and it looks like yeah, we we definitely doubled up our boulders. Uh, so let's see where our capacity is on our ore rock. So our ore rock, yeah. So we definitely doubled up our boulders. Now let's make sure it's going to crush out double. So now we can throw them in the crusher, get a couple loads in there, and it will crank up time. So these are all um, 10,000 liters each, so this is 90,000 liters of boulder. Grab another pile from up top and we'll grab the ones from the bottom, throw them in. few short. Let's go pick up a couple more. Thought I left some more down on that side. Yeah, it's going to be nice not having to empty this more than once a day now. Straighter. And let's grab these guys over here.
Okay, so maybe we'll get eight of the nine. Now these are the old ones. These are the 2,000 liter ones before last weekend's uh, update. So now we should have double the piles on the ground, and we do. That is a pretty sight. Like I said, you're still going to have to come in and empty them a little bit, uh, but uh, you have double the amount now. So you're not going to have to empty them as often. Because the uh, those dynamic piles, I cannot... Um, yeah, I can't make them any bigger. Uh, then they stop working. So they're as big as they can get. But that is a good thing. Uh, save this. Make sure there are no errors in the log. Dixieland. You are getting double the boulders and double the spawners now. Um, next weekend's update. And before we start the next factory, let's just make sure that the ore mine's not throwing any more errors. Ore mine's not throwing any errors. So Coal crusher or crusher is done. So ore crusher is done. Let us come over here to our next victim. Next victim is. I just want to close all this down so I don't adjust the wrong so, okay so our rock crusher we're gonna take oh this one may be a little bit more of a problem because of where this house is but let's see if we can work around it all right so let's take that <coughs> and we're gonna duplicate it I'm gonna call it number two I'm gonna get rid of all the extra crap that we don't need in it. I just want the spawners. Uh, this can go, this can go, uh, this can go. And that can go. So let's take our spawners uh, let's move them up and move them back and it's a little bit tighter here uh, they've got to go up a little bit more a little bit more All right, you are that 
will work, but oh, we're going to have to shrink our player trigger down. Uh, so let's take our player trigger and bring it down and back. That'll work. So those triggers are not touching. Oh, sorry, so that doubles our where our gravel is on the ground. Now let's double our boulders. Uh, so we're going to have to go back in here. Unfortunately, we're going to have to make them all visible and do the whole process one more time. And then after this mine is finished, I'm going to have to get out of here uh, for dinner. And then I'll finish the last two mines um, tomorrow. The nickel mine and the copper. But I need to see where these spawners are so we can put 18 more boulders in. that we know where they're at. Uh, so there is one. and 18 and none of them are on top of each other so they will not throw any errors so now we make them all invisible again and this is the tedious part
right, so let's give that a save. Let's go into our, which one are we working on? We're working on the, the Rock Crusher. Uh, where are you? Coal or Copper Nickel Rock Crusher. That's the one we're working on. We have to take... Uh, this one's a little bit different. Alright, so let me get back in here, wait for this to save. Let's pull up. Yeah, let me just wait for this to save. Uh, Giant Setter got an update. Yeah, I didn't update mine. Um, uh, I'm still working on the older version. It shouldn't hurt anything. Uh, Dixie, trying to find a good balance between production and consumption for the other factory sets needed next in the production line. Yeah. Alright, so this was the Rock Crusher. Yeah, so this was the Rock Crusher. So let's go to uh, Mods, Islands, Placeables, Global Company, uh, Rock Crusher. Rock Crusher. Alright, so first thing we got to do is our input our rock. That's going to go double. Uh, we, yep, so we take, we have 20 spawners. We are going to add. Um, 22 to 39. Nope, 22 to 39. We're going to add this to the rock crusher. So that doubles our spawners. This has to go to 390,000. No, 380,000 because we have 38 spawners now at 10,000 liters each, so that's 380,000, and we forgot to do that on our ore crusher, so let me open that back up. I think I forgot to change that on the ore crusher, we did. So this has to go to 380,000 before it shuts down. 380,000. I can't even count today. 380,000. All right. So that's fixed. Back to the rock crusher. So we added uh, 18 more pallet spawners. Uh, back to the coal crusher. We have to put in numbers 22 to 39 in our I3D mapping. Uh, so that can go there. So that's double our pallet spawners for our boulders. Now we have to take our gravel through 8. Copy that and under our sewage uh, we have to go, so you are now gravel 9 and 9 and then this one becomes 10 Because if you duplicate any numbers, um, it won't work, and it'll throw a Lua error. Uh, this one becomes 11. The 
this one becomes 12. So that one becomes 12. This is 13. This one becomes 15. Fifteen and fifteen, and this one becomes sixteen. that becomes 16. So that doubles our output on the ground. So now we have to take our heaps 9 through 16 and we have to transfer them over to the crusher. Uh, so heaps nine through sixteen and then we have to take production line two uh, I've got to copy that uh, production line four this becomes production line five and this becomes 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, and 16. Uh, I don't need to double the operating parts, so that can come out. So that is production line 5. So that doubles our gravel on the ground. Now our rock crusher, I've got to take production line 2. I'll copy it, put it here, and it becomes production line 5. All right, so our 110 is fixed. Our rock crusher is, should be fixed. Let's double check our numbers. So our pallet spawner, our pallet spawner 39 should be 21, 37, and 1. So our rock spawner 39 is 20, 1, 37, and 1. So that's correct. Our uh, dynamic heaps are number 27. Um, so they're correct. So that one should be 27 and 15, which it is. And then this one should be 27, 14, and 2. So that is correct. So our ore crusher, I'm sorry, our rock crusher should now essentially be doubled. Uh, let me make sure I didn't miss anything. So we doubled our input of the rock. 
we doubled our output of the rock. We doubled our dynamic piles on the ground. And we doubled our production line. So this essentially should now work. Uh, I'm going to give it another save. And then we'll go in game and test it. And then I got to get out of here for dinner. And we'll do the ore mine. I'm sorry, we'll do the nickel mine and the copper mine tomorrow. saved. Let's go back to Richie's Island. Let's delete our zip folder. Let's re-zip this back up. somebody on the street and I just heard the dog go tearing out the back door. Alright, so let's grab our zip file. Let's copy that. Let me go to my test map. Let's override my existing save game. Let's go into the test map and see if the rock crusher now is doubled and it will work with an existing save. Let's go to our save game three. We're so lucky to have a map maker like Omen that plays his own maps and can adjust things as needed for productions. <laughs> now, no, it wasn't just me wanting to hurry things along. Yeah, the um, having to go back and empty the mines every two hours in game was driving me nuts. So, there's enough boulders spawning on the hill now that we can go 24 hours without having to move the boulders. But you're still going to have to suck the crushed product off the ground about every four hours. That I can't do. I can't do anything about. That's the best I'm going to get. But every four hours, you're going to get close to a half a million liters now. All right, so let's. <laughs> Head over to uh, this guy, and we'll take him with us. And when I get over there, I just want to make sure that there's no errors in the log before we start testing. Like I said, this is my test map, so money, vehicles, and stuff don't matter. This is not my save game, my single player game. Alright, so let's put you here. So we, uh, we get a little bit of speed. I'm going to minimize you a second. I just want to go in the log, make sure we got no Lua errors before I start testing. Mm. 
make sure to mess up any of the i3D mapping. Alright, so no errors in the log for the rock crusher. Let us... oh! Alright, so essentially we should now have this line for gravel and stone, and now we should have this line uh, for gravel, gold, and stone. So that should double our... Uh, we have some rocks up on the hill, so let us... And how much diesel did I have? I should have checked that before I jumped in the truck. We have plenty of diesel. Alright, so let's come up here and make sure we're going to get double our boulders. And I will stop you about here. And let's grab some time. And we might as well just go through the night. Get back to daylight. Yeah, look at that. We have now we have double the boulders up on the hill. So this is going to be awesome. You're only going to have to empty it now once every 24 hours. And these are all 10,000 liters each. So one truck load of nine boulders is, you know, you got you've got 90,000 liters on here to crush down. throw a couple loads in here and make sure we're getting double on the ground of the crushed product. Grab like two more loads and then we'll forward time again. Dixie, double the meatballs. Grab one more load. We are making uh, burgers on the grill because it's 65 degrees out here today. So we're going to do burgers and pierogies and deep fried green beans So remember, all my old boulders were still 2,000 liters each instead of 10. Uh, because I haven't played this map 
the test map since the update. So that should get us a bunch of boulders in there. And we should now have double the amount on the ground, which we do. So let's grab some time. And we have two double piles now. So we have double the amount on the ground, double the boulders. Which means you're also going to have double the gold and double the stones. So you should now have double the gold. Uh, so production line five. Uh, you're going to have all the gravel on the ground. You're going to have gold and stones. No clean fill in this one. Um, so that is working. So about four to five hours and you'll have to empty the ground. But boulders you only have to move now once every 24 hours. I, like I said, I can't make these dynamic heaps any larger and I really can't put any more in that's already here. I just don't have the room. But double of what we had is going to be so much better and I took the di amount of diesel it uses and I cut it in half. Um, so that is going to be much much better. Let me save this. Make sure no more errors popped up in the log, and then I'm going to get out of here until tomorrow. Uh, let's go back in and check the log. Uh, make sure I have no other errors in here for the rock crusher. Cabbage and salt I know about. Yep, there are no errors in the log. So coal crusher's done, ore crusher's done, rock crusher's done. Uh, tomorrow we will do the... We'll double the nickel mine and we'll double the uh, copper mine. So nickel and copper tomorrow. I am going to get out of here. Um, anybody have any other questions? Farm Chick, thank you. Good night. Sassy One, have a great night. Dixie, have a great night. Who am I missing? Who else is in chat before I get out of here? I want to thank everybody for taking time out of their day and stopping in saying hello. Uh, everybody have a good night and we will catch you tomorrow. We will get these two mines finished and then I'm going to jump into the Ritchieville map where we can build uh, the slaughterhouse and get that done. Um, so thanks everyone.